So last night, the frame broke on my combine. This is the rear axle. Broke before. This is way worse. And then the other time it broke, we had it jacked up. This is all broke out up here too. What do you think? Uh, this is the worst it's broke off second time. Uh, right. This is the third time. Third time I we bought it this way. Somebody, and, uh, somebody pulled it out by the axle. And we went and looked at it in the middle of the night with a flashlight and checked all the wear items that are generally we only had a couple hundred hours on it. And I think it had 400 hours on it when we bought it. But yeah. like you said, we never, I I wouldn't ever think somebody would pull out on the axle. We could, you could tell, yeah, because it's all chewed up there from the chain. It's like the tow hooks right here and they hook to here. I mean, there's the one on the other side, tow hook on the other side too. But that's what happened. So we had this side pretty well grown. Grind a little bit off of there yet and there yet. Yeah. And I'll start we'll torching on the underneath. I grind that off. Yeah. So while Dad's doing that, we'll check this this dealio bobber out. So. We're gonna look at kind of what we're doing with the chopping head. So this is what's going on with the chopping head. So before, there's, there's literally lawnmower blades under there. There's two blades and they're probably four inches long each. And they spin around real fast, real fast, real fast. And they slice the stalk off and then uh, it looks like this and it does a way better job of of breaking down residue. So we don't like it. I like this head because you can turn, so I like this head because you can turn on and off the chopping part. It's just a gearbox you pull out and turn it off on each row. It takes about five minutes to turn on and off. So that's nice. And uh, the reason we'd want to turn them off is for making bedding because it's, it gets everything onto the ground more and chops it all finer, which is fine for making bedding, but you got to do it right away. You can't, if you wait a week, it starts to rot right off, right away. So where we want to make, we're actually going to have to shut the choppers off in this field, in, the, in these next two fields, but that's fine. Uh, so yeah, the other thing I like, so if you look here, the gathering chains are out farther than, like on our heads are back in here. So the gathering chains are out farther and the snout, and that actually helps pick up, get the corn in there better. Like if it's down or, or anything, cause <clears throat> you're out farther, it's, it's <clears throat> more aggressively bringing it in. The next thing, the snouts are shorter than our head. So when you make a corner, it's not pushing the rows over. So that's nice. Got one, one mess up right there. Didn't get, didn't get latched right. And then about 10 feet in the first pass, that was in the ground, which Surprisingly, they didn't break nothing, so that's good. But yeah, so these here are the deck plates. This this side moves in and out. This side is stationary. You can move it in and out manually. But that side's stationary. And uh, <clears throat> that'll adjust for your crop. In the cab, you can move them in and out hydraulically. So if the if you're getting a lot of small ears, you gotta close them up. In the bigger, better corn, you can open them up so you don't bring as much trash in. 
and yeah it does build up with a lot of a lot of junk we had some smoke coming through we should investigate that something's happening so we got the axle off Now we're gonna cut this out and they're gonna take it and make a new piece with the brackets and pins. Then one of the guys from Hennessy went back to their shop and started fabricating everything they need for the new rear axle. Need another one? I'm not going down here yet. Okay. Got one more little cut. housing that's broke uh, still smoking inside a little bit but we're gonna cut it off right here because you can't buy these parts uh, and we're gonna pull it off here we'll leave the axle hang here with these chains from here and there and uh, take it to the shop and fix it better We got that new piece in uh, it's all built he's just well finished welding it up and then we lift the axle on got a few things to do there lift the axle up put that pin in and then we're off to the races pretty much tires on that'll be fun but yeah so that's coming along Avery's head it was a little tough this morning made it 500 feet and broke the center support out of the auger so they're back fixing that should be fixed pretty quick and then maybe this afternoon we'll be running with two of them finally so yeah hopefully <laughs> 